Now, Action 10's Cole Vaughn with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Welcome back, everybody. Well, before the break, we asked you how many snowfalls has Corpus Christi had since 1887? That was when the record started being kept here in Corpus Christi. We gave you the option of five, eight or nine. The answer being five. There's only been two snowfalls, though, that have occurred within the last 40 years. Obviously, one of them being last year and then back in 2004 on Christmas Day. Well, no snowfall to be seen in the coastal bend for today. We had a lot of sunshine. It was a beautiful day to be outside. You can see now looking live at the marina. Fantastic uh, day to be out there. Beeville, same situation with just abundant blue sky. Now, those temperatures today have made it up into the 70s for most folks. In fact, we've seen temperatures make it up to around 73 here in Corpus Christi, 75 for us out in Kingsville and 73 in Alice as well. For tonight, we're going to see a very similar situation to where we were last night down in the 30s yet again. I think we make it down to around 37 degrees here in Corpus Christi, and there could be some of those spots further inland that get even a little bit lower than that. Clear skies and the calm winds are really going to make that possible, though without that, it would be tough to get our temperature down that low. We also have dry air in place, and that's why we're not seeing any cloud cover and certainly not seeing any rain. The oranger this uh, coloring get he gets here, that means the drier the air is, and it's very orange across most of Texas, which is why when you look at the radar screen, there's absolutely nothing on there. We have high pressure in control as well, and so that is keeping things nice and quiet. So any traveling to do this weekend, you should be in good shape, at least here in the Lone Star State. But we already have an, uh, our next storm system in view. It's sitting out over the Pacific Ocean right now, and this is going to develop a cold front as it moves into the western United States, and this will eventually slide down into South Texas by the time we hit the middle of next week. So let's show you on future tracker what happens here. We have high pressure here now that starts to move off to the east just a tad by tomorrow, and that means our winds are going to start to reverse. They're going to start to come off the Gulf of Mexico, but they're not going to be incredibly strong. That doesn't really happen until Sunday. We still keep the sunshine for tomorrow with some warmer temperatures. High pressure moves a little further to the east, and by Sunday, as I said, we're going to start to increase that flow off the Gulf a little bit more as the winds pick up, which means it's going to start to usher in more humidity. It's not necessarily going to feel humid, I don't think, by Sunday, but especially as we get into Monday, you're going to notice that. Also, you notice there's starting to be more cloud cover moving closer to the area, and I expect those clouds to start funneling into the region on Sunday. By the time we hit Monday, though, we're completely gray skies yet again. All ahead of our next cold front, this is the cold front that's going to be associated with that storm I was showing you out there in the Pacific, so it should be arriving on the Tuesday to Wednesday time frame of next week. So here's tomorrow's forecast as we start the day. Another chilly morning, 37 degrees sunshine though all day long. It's going to warm us up to around 72 by lunchtime and 74 by the time we hit the afternoon with those southeast winds. If you have plans to hit the beach this weekend, it's going to be a good weekend for it. We've got a lot of sunshine in place and the air is going to be nice and dry. Temperatures are going to be mild up there in the low 70s. One thing though, probably don't head into the water because that water temperature is going to be there in the upper 50s. I suppose if you do, though, the rip current risk is very low, so that's that one's up to you. Here's your seven day forecast, though. We have the sunshine one last day for tomorrow. Then there it is. The clouds start to increase on Sunday. The clouds are completely here by Monday and they stay here all the way through the end of that seven day forecast. We do start to increase the rain chances just a tad by the middle of next week as another cold front moves through. This time it's actually looking like it could bring in a little bit of cool air as well with temperatures dipping back down into the 60s. Drew. Cole, thank you. Authorities in Delaware.